One of the best ways to increase engagement while you're streaming is by allowing your chat to appear on your screen. And so today I'm going to show you how you're able to set up a Twitch chat overlay for your live streams utilizing stream elements. So jumping straight into the video, the very first thing you want to do is come over to streamelements.com. And as always, I'm going to make sure that I have a link to this down in the description below so that you guys can go ahead and follow along. And so what you're going to do is come up to the top right hand corner and you're going to select log in and you're just going to go ahead and sign in with your Twitch account. Once you signed in and you've authenticated your account, you'll be met with your stream elements dashboard. And so on the left hand side of your screen, we're going to go over to streaming tools. We're then going to go over to overlays and we're going to select new overlay. Your overlay resolution is going to appear right here. We're just going to go ahead and click start. And you then want to come to the lower left hand corner. You want to select the plus icon, go to stream tools and select your streams chat. This box is then going to appear and this is going to be your chat box from Twitch. And so what you're going to do is come over on the left hand side under settings and we're going to change our overall theme. Now, I highly recommend either leaving this at dark chat or leaving this at custom so that we can get a transparent background. You can then go ahead and leave this box checked so that way your messages can show permanently on your screen. Or if you want your messages to fade over time, then you can uncheck it and then you can change the duration on how long it stays on your screen. The maximum time frame is 120 seconds, which is two minutes. But I want mine to showcase on my screen, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it checked. And I highly recommend just leaving your message delay at two seconds, so that way your messages are not over flooding your screen and you'll have time to reply to each message. Once that's done, you're going to come down to position, size, and style. And we're going to change our width to 550 and our height to 700. This is going to give you a decent text box so that way everything can fit on your screen. You are then going to come down to text settings and we're going to change our fonts to any font of your choosing. I'm personally going to go ahead. I'm going to leave mine at impact and you are then going to change the size of your font to roughly around 20. And we're then going to go ahead and change our font color to either white or black, depending on our room background. Once that's done, we're now going to go ahead and click on the save button on the top right hand corner. And we're going to go ahead and select this link right here to copy the URL. Now, once you copy the URL link from stream elements, you're going to open up OBS studio and you are then going to go over to your scene as to where you want your chat overlay to be. And then you're going to go over to your sources. You want to click on the plus icon. You're going to go to browser and I already have a chat overlay existing, but I'm going to name this chat two, and you can name this however you like. You are then going to paste the URL link in the URL section. You're going to change your width to 1920 and your height to 1080. Click OK so that way it fits over your entire screen. And then what you're going to do is if you don't have a chat box right here for your Twitch, then what you're going to do is come down to your settings. You're going to go over to stream and you're then going to go ahead and sign in to your Twitch account. So for your service, you want to set it to Twitch and then there's going to be a section here to go ahead and connect and authenticate to your Twitch account. Once that's done, it should look exactly like this. You want to go ahead and click OK. And then you should now have a chat box and you are then going to go ahead and type in it. And you should now officially see your chat box show up on your screen. So mine is right here. I can go ahead and bring this over and I'm going to just type a very long message. So testing, well, I'm just gonna put a bunch of random letters and then you should now have your chat showcase right here on your screen. Now what you can do, if you want to make this a little bit bigger, you can always come back into stream elements. You are then going to change the size so I can change this up to like 25 ish. Bring this over a little bit by just dragging this over. And then I can go ahead and click the save option and it's automatically going to update it inside of OBS studio. So if I were to go ahead and just retype my messages again, you will see now that my messages are showcasing on my screen and you can always just move this accordingly. And so with that being said, that is how you're able to add your own Twitch chat overlay for your live streams. And so if you made it to the end of this video, make sure you give this a big fat thumbs up. Make sure you guys go ahead and smash that subscribe button as well as turning on post notifications so that way you do not miss a single video that gets posted up on this channel. 
And in case you want to learn how to add your own custom overlays for your Twitch live streams, then make sure you click on this video right here. And I'll walk you through step by step on how you're able to do that utilizing OBS Studio.